Christmas celebrations can vary greatly depending on a person's cultural background and personal beliefs. However, for wealthy individuals, Christmas is often an opportunity to show off their wealth and indulge in luxury experiences. Billionaires typically go to various luxurious destinations during Christmas. Some popular choices include private islands, ski resorts, tropical destinations, and exclusive cities such as Paris, London, or New York. Many billionaires own multiple properties all over the world, and they often spend the holiday season in one of their private homes. Some may also opt to stay in high-end hotels such as the Ritz-Carlton, Four Seasons, or Amman Resorts. These places tend to welcome their guests with the highest quality of service. If there's a need for carpets to be rolled, they surely will. But some people would pay thousands in exchange for the beauty of the place. That's why Gestad is quite popular among the rich. Today, we'll find out why this place is a place for the wealthy. But before that, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest in the luxury world. At Luxury Mindset, we bring you all luxurious information ranging from items, cars, houses, places, and even people who bathe in luxury. Not only that, but we also give you the amount you would need to purchase any of these luxurious stuff. So, if you're interested in the rich, becoming rich, or even dreaming of lying on a mattress of gold or dollar bills, click the notification bell to keep yourself updated on this channel. What about Gestad that hooks billionaires into coming back to the resort? First, the place itself. Gestad is a resort town located in the Swiss Alps in the canton of Bern. It is known for its picturesque alpine scenery, world-class ski resorts, and upscale lifestyle. Gestad has been a popular destination for both winter and summer activities for many decades, attracting wealthy and famous individuals from all around the world. The town is surrounded by rolling hills, lush green meadows, and snow-capped mountains, making it a popular destination for outdoor activities such as skiing, snowboarding, hiking, and mountain biking. In the winter, the ski resorts of Gustad offer a wide range of slopes for skiers and snowboarders of all levels, as well as many other winter sports activities. In the summer, visitors can enjoy scenic hikes and bike rides, golfing and other outdoor activities. In addition to its natural beauty and outdoor recreation opportunities, Gestad is also known for its luxurious lifestyle and upscale shopping, dining, and entertainment options. The town is home to several high-end hotels, designer boutiques, and gourmet restaurants, making it a popular destination for those seeking a premium travel experience. For 11 and a half months out of the year, the town is a peaceful mountain resort. Knitting displays, award-winning honey, and top-showing cattle from Gestad are the primary draws. The only movie theater provides the majority of the excitement outside of agriculture. However, for nine days in December, Gestad sheds its regular citizen's life in favor of playing host to the world's wealthiest people for Christmas. Every year, the population of Sanen increases from 7,445 to over 30,000 as 17,000 temporary workers arrive to serve about 6,000 of the most famous VIPs in the world, including Valentino, Julie Andrews, and Anne Hathaway. Gestad can only be understood after spending a Christmas season there. The social anxiety that comes with trying to keep up with the ultra-wealthy steals the crispness that is usually there in the mountain air. It's a game of hope you won't be implicated in the story of your modest childhood. Even the millionaires are lost in a sea of billionaire visitors, including the American property magnate Andre Balazs and the Greek shipping heiress of the Lotzis family. They are all here to celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or a secular counterpart. Every year in Gestad, Switzerland, Sipka's millionaire CEO Maurice Amon throws a big Christmas party complete with unlimited champagne, bowls of smokes, and tables upon tables of colorful salads, smoked salmon, and meat skewers that are all left untouched. 
Last year, Lourdes, Madonna's daughter, was said to have been crying as she left the celebration with a witty message, this party isn't happening. Still something that catches one's eyes and ears. Gustad's reputation prior to 1916 was essentially that of St. Moritz's superior rival. Gustad, while lacking the nightlife and Olympic history of its neighbor to the east, does have Le Rose. This exclusive boarding school, dubbed the Jet Set, eaten by Nicholas Folks in Swan's The Jet Set Society, taught everyone from Prince Rainier III of Monaco to the previous Shah of Iran to the current Aga Khan, head of the Ismaili faith. One feature of the $110,000 annual tuition is a winter campus in Gishtad. Between prominent VIPs and Gishtad's working citizens, Lou Rose students and graduates occupy a halfway ground. They consider the town to be a second home. Lou Rose alumnus Alexander Putman has spent Christmas in Gestad every year since he was a youngster. The wealthy and famous started traveling to Gestad for their opulent vacations as the Alpine town slowly gained a reputation for being the most exclusive. Gestad was transformed into something special thanks to Richard Burton, Liz Taylor, Bridget Bardo, and Roger Moore, a resort devoted almost entirely to staging Christmas for the attractive people. Gestad also boasts a palace hotel similar to St. Moritz. It is praised as the only choice for jet setters who lack the pleasure of owning their own chalet and is owned and operated by the Shares Hotelier clan. Each season is completely packed with bookings beginning as early as three years in advance. Christmas is frequently observed in the suites, which come furnished with trees and holiday decor, or in one of the hotel's five restaurants, which are both watched over by an 18-foot fur in the lounge. Central to Gishtad's peculiar dual character is the palace. It is a stone castle perched above the town, looking down on the peaceful streets below. The town promenade, a pedestrian area dotted with Louis Vuitton, Hermes and Trois Palm boutiques, is accessible from the palace. The Hotel Olden, a 1960 celeb hangout, is located at the very end and has a classic facade that makes it appear more like a relic Swiss restaurant than a hotel. Harvey Weinstein frequently frequents the resort's English-language newsstand at the train station, where visitors can browse books for hours. Harvey Weinstein typically leaves with every newspaper and a bag of M&Ms. The station pulls in the little army of employees needed to spring into action and serve the visitors over the holiday season. Workers in Gishtad commute from the 812-person neighboring village of Lawanen. The number of automobiles on the road during Christmas increases from the typical 700 or so to more than 3,000, and many of them are drivers. Christmas is a time of little sleep for the family-run Taxi Simon. The owner, Mario Simon, said, During the year, we have two full-time employees and two part-time. In high season, that increases to 20, and even that is often not enough. We have partnerships with other limousine service companies from different cities in Switzerland to bring in extra Mercedes Vianos and cars to accommodate our guests. The palace's staff members are expected to keep their visitors' identities a secret while silently attending to their requirements. It is a tiny city onto itself, obliged to supply everything from daily massages to private yoga classes and fresh organic goat milk. Hotel employees often put in 13 to 14 hours every day. Christmas is frequently observed on December 28, which is the last day before New Year's Eve. The hotel has more than 200 staff rooms to accommodate its 104 guest rooms. In December, this number increases to 300 as more employees join the team to help make Christmas truly the most delightful time of the year. Gestad has only a population of 9,200 and the additional capacity during the Christmas season necessitates more voltage. The town's electricity grid was overloaded in the lead-up to the century in 1999, resulting in a four-day blackout from December 26 to December 31. 
But worry no more because 300 backup generators have now been removed from storage in preparation for the upcoming winter. The palace's head of operations, Lucia, talks about the romance of candlelit dinners during the power outage. That resort staff had to use handwritten receipts and put in extra hours to catch up in early days of 2000. One of Europe's last surviving enclaves of old world refinement, Gustad is home to affluent citizens who are at battle with newly minted billionaires who want to transform the picturesque mountain town into their own garish playground. The ski resort to Gestad takes pride in its mainland alpine beauties behind a snow globe. Change occurs slowly in the place. This has been both a blessing and a curse for the millionaires of Galt's Gulch, where from the road, every chalet very much looks the same and where they talk about Russians the way people used to talk about Jews in Darien, Connecticut. Gestad would run the risk of falling into the same precipice as St. Moritz, the girl next door who just couldn't say no and is now dealing with loud nightclubs and condominiums if locals ever veered too far away with their important decisions. Due to the competition between the two cities, everyone who lived in Gestad also considered purchasing property in St. Moritz. When a United Nations investigation found that St. Moritz's wastewater contained evidence of cocaine in 2007, the local publication Gestad Life stated, The drug capital of the Alps is St. Moritz. That fears many residents with the possible outcome of the resort's growing popularity. But despite all these worries, people are still enjoying what Gestad can offer. So, does Gestad sound like a place you want to cross out of your bucket list soon enough? Let us know in the comments below. And if content like this catch your interest, go ahead and click that notification bell to stay updated in the luxury world. Only here at Luxury Mindset.